Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. So I have assessed the situation with Kodak Black's comments pertaining to uh, Nipsey Hussle's uh, girlfriend, uh, Miss London, Miss Lauren London. My nigga, that's the nigga. Lauren London, that baby though. She gonna be out of single. She gonna be a whole widow out of here. I'd be the best man I could be, fuck. I give her a whole year. She might need a whole year to be to be crying and shit. The yeah, boy, too, 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 too. I ain't trying to shoot that up. I'm saying this. Is little, little. No, she could do two, three years, but I just try to be that guy. I try to be like if you need a friend to holler us, so does he know I. You can call my line. And it it sounds like. Uh, Kodak uh, made some comments pertaining to uh, kind of consoling her in this time of mourning, saying that he could be a shoulder for her to cry on, etc., etc. And of course, the timing is extra bad. Uh, a lot of people see it as him shooting his shot. Uh, in a passive type way, um, I can understand what some of the brothers like T.I. are saying. Hey, Kodak Black, you out of pocket, nigga. Fix that shit. Quickly, expeditiously, nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Ain't nobody else gonna say it, nigga. I done said it to you, nigga. And if I see you, I'ma say it in your face, nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Get your motherfucking self together. Kodak Black. That's not it, bro. I promise you, that's not it. You gotta listen to the guy next to you that's saying too soon. And the other guy that's, you know, trying to keep you from saying it, period. You gotta, you gotta get out of that. And you gotta, um, you know, there are a lot of factors at play here. You know what I'm saying? Um, not only just the people that love and respect Nip um, and Lauren. Um, you know, you're, you're, you do business um, with us, with Atlantic Records. That's, that's a tough spot to be in, young fella. So I'm going to just let you know right now. Just get out in front of that man. And if you meant no disrespect, if you meant no harm, you know, it's easier to say that than to play the, you know, play the tough guy. Fix this, bro. And he's out of pocket. There's a lot of people grieving right now. A lot of people don't see uh, what happened to our brother as something that's anything to be played with because he was a serious mover and shaker. When it came to our community, he was a brother who was sincere in his devotion and his service to our people. So that's why T.I. and the game and all of these different brothers reacted the way that they did. So Kodak Black, he came back out and um, apologized to Miss Lauren and Nipsey. Hey, real shit, this is gonna be my last time. This is gonna be my last time talking about this. Let me find what the fuck I want to say for the. Hold up. Alright, man. Yeah. Alright, for sure. Right, sure. Yeah. Hey, so, uh. If I disrespect the youth, knowing none of in any shape or form, I'm sorry. Even though I did. And recipes to do. Y'all already know what I say. I say a dude encouraged me to do shit for the community. But anyhow, my bad to them too. But for all you other people like trying to fake act like y'all love boy me on the internet or checking me on the internet. That's how you feel, bro. That's how y'all want to feel. And I got a whole tour. Like, I'm in Georgia right now. Tomorrow I'll be in Norfolk, Virginia. Like, wherever y'all see me at, if that's how y'all feel. That's how y'all feel. Don't try to little boy me on no internet like, oh, motherfucker, motherfucker. Nigga, you could hit my line. 
recipes to do if I disrespect it knowing that it in any way even though I know I didn't my bad my bad but listen I got niggas who I say fuck you two to their face so I ain't gotta get no off of a nigga who we in the grip oh none of that shit and that's not even the kind of face I want I don't even want that on my I don't even want that on my old heater nigga who said so I'm gonna get that off me get that off me but for all you niggas who want to do me something do it bro because I love that I, I love that I would love that bro give me something to do give me something to do give me something to do Life, 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 life is better like this here with a little um with some smoke here and there. So if that's how y'all feeling, alright. Baby. That's how y'all wanna feel. Nobody ain't make me do this. Nobody ain't. Hey, where's this charge at, man? I need a charge. I need a charge. I need a charge for my phone. Y'all got my hand and shit. My son just came. Ain't y'all can do whatever. I don't give a shit. My son, your plan. I ain't seen this at See, first. I ain't have my shit on the tour because if uh, anything happens, I don't want him to be in the comfort. But I don't give a fuck because I ain't going to spare you with yours. So, bitch, run it however you want to. In my little boy, I don't give a fuck. Fuck y'all. Real stepper. Real stepper shit. Real stepper. I'm humble. I, I'm humble. I better say my bad didn't run nothing. And shit like that. Y'all pulled a real video. Y'all pulled a real video off of... Um, but I really said and shit like that. And I'm finna block the shade room and all that shit. Cause y'all be on my trail. I could fart. Oh, Kodak farted. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, man, fuck y'all. Man, I'm finna block y'all. Like, y'all just wanna vlog something for some, for some shit real quick. Yeah, I said what I said. Y'all know this ain't even me to even be like. I'm t I'm seeing my dad in Lauren London. I'm talking about Lauren London and Nixie. Like, but whoever else. Alright, whatever. Alright. But my bad Lauren London. Nunu. My bad Nunu. My bad Nix. And I got that mix with blue on. I ain't even I ain't even bitch, I ain't disrespect dude to even say my bad. Suck a baby dude. All you Um He felt as though what he said was not disrespectful. Um he also I guess he didn't take too well to the videos that all of the people uh, directed towards him. And this is a potential dangerous situation, brothers and sisters, whenever we have misunderstanding, then in these videos are going viral with hundreds of thousands of views on them, then the enemy is also watching too. We have to be cognizant of that so whenever we don't have unity, then these brothers absolutely need to be called into a back room. They need to be pulled into an office. You have a young brother like Kodak Black. Evidently, we can see that, you know, our younger generation, a lot of our brothers need help, man. That's just the reality. They need older brothers who sincerely care. And since Kodak Black made the mistake out in public, we're taught that it's correct that you be corrected in the public so that others will also know that it's not proper to make such comments at such a time when people are grieving and mourning the loss of one of our beloved brothers but you know was, was Kodak Black intention to be disrespectful I don't know I'm not the judge I, I can't say that of course the timing was bad but you know somebody from the industry really needs to get Kodak and Maybe T.I. or somebody uh, game them in the back room so that, you know, this can get hashed out. You know, because at the end of Kodak Black's video, he's like, hey, man, you know, I basically he didn't feel what the brothers were saying. He, he took it some kind of way. But that just shows his level of understanding and maturity pertaining to the situation. So in these type of scenarios, because we don't want Kodak to get murdered, we don't want any 
body to get murdered. We don't want the game, T.I., none of the brothers who made videos because like I said, our enemies are always in our midst. And we don't necessarily know who all of the agents are, but they look for stuff like this. They look at our YouTube videos. They're always looking for beefs and plexes, and they would love for one of these brothers to get popped as a result of this. Now you have Nipsey dead, potentially T.I. dead, potentially The Game dead, potentially Kodak Black dead. Who wins? Our enemies win because we're acting out of uh, uh, emotion, which is energy in motion, when if we would get off the internet, right and talk to each other over the phone in or in person because these videos are going viral all over the world so it's hatred in the breast of a lot of people who follow nipsey hustle now for kodak black then you got a lot of the young brothers who ride with kodak and you got these other brothers, you know, correcting Kodak and popping off at Kodak. We got to get off this internet with this going back and forth, brothers and sisters. We playing right into the hands of our enemies. And at the end of the day, like I said, it's our families who are out here crying. Right? And us as young brothers, when our elders correct us, you know, we shouldn't take it the wrong way. You know? Um, but like I said, everybody really just needs to be pulled into a back room so this situation can get hashed out and let that publicly, let that publicly be recorded the end of that meeting so that humanity can see it, it's no uh, beef here, it's no plex, young brother was misunderstood or had a misunderstanding and made a mistake. We don't want this to turn into anything greater then it could possibly be brothers and sisters so that's just my few thoughts about this i'm always looking into situations and circumstances to see what potentially could come out of it we have to look and analyze things from a deeper perspective and get off the internet uh, uh conveying words that really could be called over a telephone, a cell phone, or in person, brothers. And that's what Kodak was saying. He was like, hey, you know, you know, they can hit my line, you know. So that just I start calling each other or meeting in person. This is your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.